Hi everyone, welcome to Water Goddess Tarot. So the topic for today is your past self versus your present self. Now in this reading, we're going to tap into how you were in your past or what all happened, what kind of a person you were, and then we'll jump to how you are in the now. What all changes have occurred for you, how you've evolved as a person and stuff like that. So yes, this is actually going to give you an insight into how you have actually transformed over the years. All right. So you can see three images on the screen. I'll show you the close ups as well. This is pile number one. This is pile number two. And this is pile number three. You can pause the video, take your time and choose the image that you feel drawn to the most intuitively. Meanwhile, let's just begin with pile number one. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. So let's just figure out your past self versus your present. First, we look into the past and then we'll see what we have for your present self. Okay. So for your past, we have eight of swords, knight of cups, Three of Swords, Gift, Five of Wands, and Evil Queen. Okay, we'll take these cards later. Now, so pile number one. Now, in your past, you were a giver. Okay, you were a hopeless romantic. You were a daydreamer. You trusted people blindly, okay? You were that kind of a person that whenever anybody used to look at you or interact with you, they always wondered that you are too good to be true, okay? I mean, you loved people the way they've never been loved. And it was not in everyone's capacity to actually understand and handle your love, your care and your affection. But you were that person that kept on giving, giving and giving. Okay. In your past, you have actually gone through a major heartbreak. Okay, you've gone through a major heartbreak. This person kept you caged. This person made you feel like you are nobody. Okay. I mean, you were that person who was wearing their heart on their sleeve while the other person treated you in a way where you felt like you are the one to be blamed if this relationship doesn't work out. Where in reality, what happened was you were the one who got ditched. You were the one who got betrayed. You were the one who got cheated on. Okay. If this is not resonating with you or your situation pile number one, you're free to choose any other pile or skip this reading. But I'm simply telling you that you have been very unlucky in your love, in your friendships, in your relationships for that matter. Because for the most part, people have used you. People have used you being sensitive. People have used you being such a good human being, such a good person, where you even reached a point in your life where you just felt like giving up on people or you felt like giving up on your own self. You felt that there's some issue with you. Why everybody hurts you? Why people are dishonest with you? why you pour into other people and they end up leaving you behind why it always happens with you you might have gone through this phase of you know self-sabotaging of limiting yourself and just feeling very small about yourself just because of the encounters that you've had with people romantically and otherwise because I don't just see romantic interest taking advantage of you, but I see a lot of people taking advantage of you. And you were that kind of a person who was, I wouldn't call you a doormat because you did out of love. Whatever you did for people, you did that because it came very naturally to you. 
that was the kind of person that you were in your past. You did not want anything from people. And let me tell you, whosoever's life you've touched till now, every single person remembers you till date because it was you who kept them together. And there are a lot of people who are regretting over you. At least you have five people from your past who are guilty for the way they've treated you, who are guilty for how they have backstabbed you or they've broken your trust or they kind of let you go, okay? In your past, you were a gift to others, okay? You were that kind of a person who was nothing but good news. I'm again telling you, you made people's life better. There were so many people who were dependent on you. There were so many people who were fighting over you, your attention. Because the kind of love, care, affection, attention, sense of security that you provided them with, nobody else did, okay? So your energy was very expensive in the past, but you did not realize the value of your energy. You were just giving it freely to anyone and everyone for that matter. You were not at all conscious with how careless you were being. I mean, you were there for everybody all the time. You were that person who was available 24 seven. And that is why people kind of misinterpreted your kindness for your weakness. There are very high chances that you've been used emotionally, okay? Yes, I know it hurts. I know it's something that's, you know, hard to hear or digest for that matter. But in all honesty, you have been manipulated. You have been exploited. You have been gaslighted by people. And you have never been treated the way you should have been treated. Okay? Your heart was the most expensive thing about you and it's your heart that has suffered the most in the past okay ah you've been through something very tough on an emotional level and i can very well sense in your energies pile number one and i just want to give you a big hug because you are that person who deserved nothing but sweetness you deserved nothing but love but you actually got the opposite of it every single time, okay? And because of all of this, you have developed some very deep wounds around your heart center. You have gone through so much of pain. You have cried your heart out. You've cried endlessly. Any which way you are a sensitive soul, you are going to feel emotions more than I mean, you're going to feel emotions more intensely as compared to a normal human being. Maybe you're a very highly sensitive person, okay? And in the past, you had very weak boundaries, okay? You had very, very weak boundaries and you let anybody and everyone for that matter to kind of, you know, walk all over you, smother you with their pain, with their issues for that matter. In your past, you came last and everybody else was a priority, okay? People genuinely mistreated you. You were a gem of a person and nobody treated you the way you deserved to be treated. Everyone did, I mean, everyone just kept Everyone kept on disappointing you and you kept on giving them second chances. It's not that you left people behind just, you know, in a whim. No, it did not happen like that. You actually kept on forgiving people and giving them second chances, tolerating their BS, trusting them time and again only to get your heart broken, okay? In the past, moving on from people was something that you did not know. It took a lot of courage for you to actually learn how to move on in life, how to leave people behind, how to cut cords with people who do not deserve you. So this is how you were in the past. You were very naive, okay? Very naive, very pure, very 
childlike because you thought that the energy that you're going to give out to the people around you, the same energy you're going to receive back in return. You were not corrupted, I would say. And that is one of the reasons that you expected people to be just the way you are. Plain and simple, pure and pious. But that wasn't the case. So it was a huge blow to your self-esteem, to your heart center when people took advantage of you. Okay? Huh. Tough. You've been through some very tough lessons okay and you know in your past you were over trusting of people okay you used to trust people blindly there's so much of blind faith blind love blind care affection i mean you were way too pure what how else do i put it i don't know but you were just simply an angel an angel to whosoever's life you've touched in your past, okay? Now let's just tap into your present energies and see how much you've evolved or changed as a person. So for that we have, we have Four of Cups, Four of Swords, Two of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Distant Horizons, and we have Raindrops. Okay. All right. Now, in your present, you are only invested in yourself. Okay. You are in your shell. There are very high chances that you have zero to three friends, okay? You are not in the mood to give your energy out freely to the people around you. You have cut cords with a lot of people from your past. And I just think that gradually all your old friendships are crashing down. They're just ending. Okay, if they are not, then I feel very strongly that they are going to in the coming time because you are moving ahead in life. Okay, your vibrations are changing. There is a huge shift in your vibrations if I'm tapping into your past and your present. And currently, you are in the energy of just catering to yourself. You are that person who has learned that overgiving is something that's not going to fix the issue. The major issue lies in the fact that you got to love yourself. You used to give to people in the past because you wanted the same energy back from them. But now what you're doing is you're going the healthy way around. You are pouring the same amount of love into your own cup. You are filling your own vessel. You are investing time in self-care, in self-love. You're resting a lot. You're taking care of your mind, soul, and body. You are in no rush to fall in love. You are in no rush to kind of, you know, build your friendships. You are in no rush to go out every weekend, celebrate, party. No. You are very much comfortable in yourself, in your shell, and you are finding a lot of peace in your solitude. You have basically isolated yourself, but in between you go through episodes of you feeling frustrated because you don't have anyone around you, okay? You miss interacting with people from time to time. You feel bored out of, you know, you sitting in your room, you being in your own energy, you having no social interaction and stuff like that. But then you come out of this because you start comparing how peaceful it is as compared to your past, okay? Now you have become very stingy with your energy. Now you are very much kind of focused on your career, on your finances, your independence and your stability, okay? 
and i want to tell you that in your present energy you have trust issues now it's getting very difficult for you to trust people why because when you were so open to kind of you know trusting people they betrayed you they betrayed your trust so even if you come across someone who is a good person it gets very difficult for you to kind of accept them and take them at face value because you have been manipulated in your past and now you're very skeptical you're very skeptical and you're very very protective of your own heart you don't want to get backstabbed you don't want to get hurt again so whenever a person kind of tries to get closer to you you take a step back why because you're scared of getting hurt this is your present energy okay you have very heavy boundaries now so you are living in extremes in your past you didn't have any boundaries at all and in your present your boundaries are like i mean the walls are so damn high that if any genuine person also wants to kind of enter your field there's no way there's no way to reach out to you because you shut that person even before they can actually make a move on you okay so you have to kind of take your time work on healing your heart because you are going through a heart chakra healing even right now your heart is not healed okay the wounds are still present and they are going to be it's not that you're not going to forget whatever has happened with you in your past i mean come on nobody forgets anything we all just move on in life right but you will take some more time to come out of whatever you've been through and i think you are on the verge of coming out of this period of isolation and within a month's time there's a shift that's going to happen one month from whenever you're watching this reading okay there's a shift that's going to take place in your life for some of you it can also extend to 3 months okay so between 1 to 3 months there's a shift that's going to happen in your life where you will start interacting with people where you will start meeting new people where you will start forming new friendships okay even if you are not on the lookout for it it will happen because you've spent a lot of time in isolation and now you are inviting your soul tribe into your life you are inviting people that are a match to your vibration all right and you don't have to figure out as to how these people are going to enter into your life or how you're going to meet them and stuff like that leave it to the universe it's all going to happen in a very magical way and all you got to do is just be open be open to receiving be open to receiving keep your heart open because until and unless you're open no matter what blessings are meant to enter into your life they will not be able to because you are not in the receiving energy so if there's anything that you should take from this reading is to keep your heart open to keep your heart open to let the energies enter into your life the kind of energies that you deserve that you have been desiring for a very long time because i think you've spent a good amount of time in healing you've spent a good amount of time in catering to yourself okay now your present self is also on the lookout for just making your dreams come true i think you're that kind of a person pile number 1 who's very focused on their career right now i mean love is not a priority even friendship is not a priority for that matter you might get bored easily you might you know just lose your cool here and there from time to time because of you know the frustration that comes from being isolated but then you still find isolation better than interacting with fake people around you okay so your present energy is giving me vibes of you just spending a lot of time in dreaming about your future in thinking what all you want to do in this lifetime what all you want to achieve where you want to travel how far you want to go in life 
and for a lot of you you're very excited as to what new is going to happen in your life at this point of time for some of you recently have started taking a lot of interest in spirituality okay and for others of you those who have been in spirituality for a long time you are ascending in your spiritual journey okay you're learning more and more about spirituality you're feeling very curious very curious to learn more about the spiritual laws of life how it works and you know you're just tapping into different dynamics revolving around spirituality so your major focus in the present time is all around self love self growth self acceptance how you can just move ahead in life and make your dreams come true you are an ambitious person you have your dreams your goals in place and you are actually focused on making them come true okay now because you're very skeptical when it comes to people pile number 1 your guides want you to know that if there's a person in your life at this point of time whom you're confused about that you know can i trust this person is this person trustworthy should i give them a chance should i lower down my walls so that they can enter into my field then your guides are saying a yes whosoever you're confused about is a green flag that person is not going to hurt you that person is not going to manipulate you and this is not just about romantic connections that i'm talking i'm i mean i'm just talking about all kinds of relationships and friendships at this point of time all kinds of connections this could be anyone for that matter if you don't have this person right now if there's nobody that's coming to your mind your guides want you to know that there will come a time when a particular person is going to enter into your life for most of you it's going to be a female okay that person is going to enter into your life you would want to give them a chance you would want to trust that person okay but you will hold yourself back because you've always been kind of mistreated in your friendships and your relationships both okay but the universe wants you to know that this person is a part of your soul tribe they're not going to hurt you they're not going to take advantage of you you can allow them in your space okay so yes this is what i have for you pile number 1 if you liked your reading please like share comment subscribe turn the notification bell on so that whenever i post next you get notified if you'd like to book a private reading with me you can do that via instagram and email the details for both is in my description box below i'll catch up with you in the next reading see ya hi pile number 2 welcome to your reading so let's just figure out about your past self versus your present First self we'll tap into your past self and see what we have we have the empress 3 of swords son of swords lovers and witch okay Now if you were confused between pile 1 and 2 I would suggest you to watch pile number 1 as well because your initial energy is quite similar to that of pile number 1 okay Now in your past I would say that you were very nurturing very caring very motherly very trustworthy I mean you used to pamper people around you so much that they actually kind of i mean they were just codependent on you yes i am sorry but this is what i'm getting you used to attract a lot of narcissists okay a lot a lot of toxic people who did not have their life together who just kind of played victim i mean you haven't been through you've been through something very painful especially in love okay that's why i'm saying your energy is very much similar to that of pile number 
very similar okay so in your past you know you were this caring energy this nurturing energy you used to take care of people around you especially your partner especially your lover your romantic interest i mean you were that kind of a person that if your partner would do one thing for you you would end up doing 100 things in return you used to smother your partner your people the people around you with so much of love care and affection that every one kind of in the end used to take advantage of you being so giving so nurturing why because they used to think that this is how you are this is something that comes very naturally to you you don't need anything in return you don't need the care and concern in return we did not ask you to care for us we did not ask you to nurture us but you kept on giving 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 why because you actually are that kind of a soul you are very caring you're very sensitive very nurturing and very very intuitive but what these people did not understand about you is that you also have other shades to your personality just because you did not show the stronger version of you they thought that you're weak there are very high chances that you yourself did not realize as to how powerful you are in the past because everyone kind of put you in that place where you did not or you could not rather see your own self or your potential for that matter you know you are or you have always been that kind of a person who has the qualities of the queen of swords the queen of pentacles the queen of cups okay and the queen of wands for that matter so you have been that person but in your past just because of your surroundings just because of the people around you you kind of just you kind of accepted the fact that you know you are not powerful or you are weak or being vulnerable is weak because i just think that you gave your love to the wrong people in your past and they just backstabbed you they cheated upon you they betrayed you they hurt you they did everything possible to break your heart there are very high chances that somebody kept lying to you time and again and kept fooling you time and again and you after a while actually came to this realization that that particular person has been fooling you for years okay again painful it's very painful you've been through something very brutal around your heart center okay but in spite of you going through so much in spite of you dealing with you know so much of chaos you held your ground you fought back the people around you the world thought that you're going to give in that you're weak but no you proved them wrong and the way you took a stand for yourself the way you stood your ground is something that i mean it was just the people around you were shook i'll be very honest okay now for some of you if you were in a marriage and now you are divorced this is your story okay this is your story i don't know why i'm getting this that there's someone who's watching this reading who has been married and your husband or your wife cheated on you or lied to you betrayed you in some way broke your trust and thought that you are going to just you know cry and end your life or you are always going to be in shambles and stuff like that but no that did not happen there are very high chances that you filed a case on this person and you kind of let god universe the higher power or you know just 
whosoever you believe in you left everything on the divine is the message that i'm getting in the past you were that kind of a person who did not believe in taking revenge rather you kind of had that faith you had that thought process where you used to tell yourself that if anyone's doing good they are going to get back their karma in a similar way and if there's anyone who's doing bad who's being evil they are going to get the same in return this was your policy in the past okay in the past you were that kind of a person who was very mindful in regards to your own actions because you thought that you know what goes around comes around because you believed in this law because you believed so much in karma that was your thought process but you were also overly trusting of the people around you okay you had blind faith in your partner in your relationships in your friendships you always believed in giving the benefit of the doubt to the other person so that you do not regret your actions later so that you do not act out of impulse and you know kind of end up regretting your reaction for that matter you didn't want to spoil your connections and just because of that you kept on tolerating bs time and again for years okay for years for some of you you were in a toxic marriage or a relationship or you kept on tolerating very shady behavior from the people around you for a minimum of 3 years before you cut them off or before you took a stand for yourself okay so in the past this is what your story is all about now let's see where you are in the present we have two of cups two of pentacles the chariot privileged lady the wheel of fortune and here we have morning okay you are in a very beautiful energy pile number 2 right now i mean your energy is so beautiful i cannot tell you that's the difference that's there between pile 1 and 2 pile 1 is still healing but for you you have done the work okay for the most part your major chunk of you leaving your past behind is done because for a lot of you either you already are in another relationship that is very fulfilling on almost all levels for most of you you are with your soulmate at this point of time and though i avoid giving labels but this is something that just came very naturally so i am just going with the flow so yes for most of you you are with your soulmate right now you are happy in your relationship you are very committed to this person and the energy is being reciprocated by them as well and if you are single right now then i just want to tell you that within 2 months from now there are very high chances that you're going to be in a committed relationship or there's someone very significant possibly a soulmate of yours that's going to enter into your life okay or if you already have this person in your vicinity in your energy field around your energy field there's something significant that's going to happen in your love area your love sector where you might not be single after 2 months or within 2 months from whenever you're watching this reading okay because i do see you falling in love getting into a committed relationship and being very happy yes it might be scary it might be a bit uncomfortable but you will listen to your heart and you will go with the flow okay yes now your present self is very open to changes where in the past you were very comfortable with however you were being treated but now it's not that now you're very open and very comfortable to changes you can balance a lot on your shoulders you know that you've been through the worst now what else can happen in your life i mean i think that there's someone who talks to themselves like this okay 
that you know what i've been through so much of shit now what else it's okay i will be able to deal with it if i could actually deal with my past then this is nothing okay so you have become very strong with time you already were i'm telling you you were this strong but you did not realize as to how powerful you are but now you know your worth now you know how powerful you are now you know how valuable you are what you bring to the table okay so right now you are not scared of changes you're not scared of challenges rather you feel very excited when you're pushed outside of your comfort zone yes that excitement might not come in the initial stage but once you take that step one step you put outside of your comfort zone and you are all in to kind of face whatever is coming your way okay because you know you know that no matter what happens you got your back you are in that energy okay your present self is very confident in what it brings to the table okay you do not have time to waste you do not want to look back at your past you do not want to go back to your past you are least interested in knowing about anyone from your past for that matter you are that person who doesn't read your book backwards you are that person who's always focused on what's coming ahead what's new where am i going next what's happening next in my life okay so you are currently in that energy of forward movement currently you are in that energy of you know xyz is what i got to do and i'm simply focused on how can i get things done in my life you're very much focused on how can you provide for yourself how can you make money how can you build wealth how can you create abundance how can you attract more money into your life your major focus right now is on wealth and is on you entering into a very lucky period of your life i think you're just waiting for some kind of magic to happen and you are attracting that maybe you're that kind of a person who has been very patient and you've been patiently waiting for your time to come okay for the universe to work in your favor you have been extremely extremely patient because i think the universe has taken a lot of tests especially the last 10 years of your life uh, you've been through a lot of challenges you've been through a lot of ups and downs okay but let me tell you your time is coming pile number 2 okay and whatever you've been wishing for whatever you've been praying there are very high chances that your prayers are going to get answered your prayers are going to get answered surely so be very mindful of what you speak of what you think or what you are wanting to manifest because your thoughts are going to get manifested your words are going to get manifested do not let anger get the best of you do not let your mood swings get the best of you because then unconsciously it's going to get manifested and you might not like what you've manifested for yourself because what i see for you is a lot of money a lot of luxury a glow up whatever i mean if you want to buy a house for yourself you will be able to do that if you want a dream body you will be able to do that if you want to be a millionaire you will be able to do that if you want to get a certain car you want to buy a certain car you will be able to do that if you want to take a holiday if you want to just go on a world tour you want to buy a piece of land you want to invest in some property you're waiting for some kind of funds from somewhere somebody owes you money i mean you name it and it's going to come to you that's why please be very mindful you are in a very powerful energy right now and your present self knows how to manifest i mean subconsciously your present self knows if in 3d world you are not aware you are not kind of you know 
very open to understanding how you're attracting things into your life, then I am telling you that energetically, you are on a different level altogether, especially whenever you're watching this reading. Okay? Oh my God. Your present self is very expensive. I just want to say that. Your present self is very expensive in the way that now you've become very expensive. Nobody has access to you unless you want them to have access to you. You are not the same giving, mothering, nurturing self. Now you have all this energy, this empress energy for yourself or for your partner for that matter. But you are in a very healthy dynamic at this point of time. Okay. Yes, from time to time, you might have certain issues with your partner and that's very normal. It happens with everyone for that matter. Nobody is happy 24-7. And if you think anyone is, then it's a myth. It's a figment of your imagination. Yes, you can try, you can practice, but it's a kind of a habit that you got to cultivate, that you got to invest in. But I think feeling your emotions is not a bad thing. You should. You should feel your emotions. You should feel your difficult emotions even more because then you'll know how to process pain. Once you know how to process pain in a healthy manner, you will always be safe and sane. You will never lose out your cool when you are going through a difficult time period. You will always know that, you know, this is just a phase and it's going to pass and I got to feel certain feelings and that's okay. If I am feeling certain emotions right now, maybe this is what I need at this point of time. So do not ever push your difficult emotions away just because you want to be that happy-go-lucky kind of a person or you are that person in general, okay? Now you've reached that stage in your life, pile number two, that you do not live in your future. You do not live in your past. You are living in your present. You are very much focused on how you can make your present better, okay? You are simply learning every single day and growing as a person there's a lot of investment that you have done when it comes to your own self, okay? And it's been in a very healthy kind of a space. So you take your day as it comes. Every day is a new day. And you take your new day in a very positive kind of a stride where you're like, let me see how I can make the best of today. Okay, if yesterday I was crying, that's over. I don't know where I'm going to be tomorrow, but today is what I have. Now, what I can do in my today is something that I'm looking forward to. And it's because of this approach that you're attracting so many good things in your life. Okay, and there's something very lucky that's going to happen with you. Either you're going to enter into a lucky phase of your life or you are soon going to encounter a day that's going to be one of your luckiest days because there's some kind of surprise that's there in store for you and mostly it's around your glow up, your luxuries, money, wealth, assets. I mean, it's something that's going to not just raise your standards, not just uplift you socially. I mean, there is an overall glow up that's happening for you. Trust me when I say that because I see some kind of a spiritual blessing, physical blessing, emotional blessing, mental blessing. Yes, you are kind of, you know, just upgrading when it comes to your status. That's there. But there's something magical. There is a good news that's in store for you. And it is very much divinely timed. So I cannot give you a time frame right now. But all I'd say is keep your heart open, continue doing whatever you're doing and in no time you will be blessed with something that's humongous, that's just going to blow your mind and it's going to put you on cloud nine. It was kind of rhyming, I guess, but then it is what it is, okay?
So yes, that's what I have for you, yeah, pile number two. If you liked your reading, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Turn the notification bell on so that whenever I post next, you get notified. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do that via Instagram and email. The details for both is in my description box below. I'll catch up with you in the next reading. See ya. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. So let's just look into your past self and your present self. First, we are tapping into your past self, okay? So we have Three of Cups, the Star, Two of Pentacles, Judication, Lighthouse. Okay. Your past self was always focused on how can you provide for the people around you? How can you be there for your friends? How can you heal people? How can you make people feel better? How can you cater to others? How can you mother others? How can you pour into the cups of those who are craving for your energy? You were definitely that friend, that person who was the mother of the group. You were that person whom everyone used to call or they used to come up to with their problems. You were the problem solver. People used to rob you of your energy in your past and you had zero idea of the fact that you were being taken advantage of. There are very high chances that for some of you, you are going to realize this via this reading that the people in your past have taken advantage of you okay because you know this pile is chosen by people who have always been there for their friends but you have not been lucky in your friendships yes you have not been lucky in your friendships because i sense you are that kind of a person who is very emotionally intelligent out of all the three piles you're the most emotionally intelligent other piles might have been very sensitive, but you are not just sensitive. You are a blend of everything. Why? Because you get to the root of the problem. Okay. You're a wise soul. You're very, you're very wise. You have a lot of wisdom and there are very high chances that this pile is chosen by the healers, by the people who are either already into the healing arts or like, you know, you have some kind of knowledge, some gifts, or there is a lot of wisdom to you because you're an old soul, okay? And it comes very naturally to you. It comes very, very naturally. You attract people. You attract broken people into your life. And then you might have also experienced this in your past that people used to come to you with their problems even if they did not know you well okay and you did not put any effort in getting to know people it was the other party that kind of you know used to communicate with you and then they used to tell you their life story they used to share some deep dark secrets with you and stuff like that i mean you used to pick up on other people's energy unintentionally that by the end of the day you used to feel so drained without even realizing that it's happening because you have not been very conscious with your energy. In the past, you have healed people unintentionally, unconsciously, just by being there for them. Okay. You have healed many broken souls just by being a shoulder to cry on. You have given people hope, but when you used to kind of feel low, when you needed a shoulder to cry on, you had nobody in your life. You were the one who used to fix yourself. You were the one who kind of cried yourself to sleep. And even while you were suffering, you were there for others. 
uh, it's painful not in a very i mean not in a very backstabbing kind of a way but you're an empath pile number 3 and you will understand this that in your past you used to absorb other people's pain so much that it used to become your own whereas you didn't have your life sorted but the world thought that you have zero problems why because you were not very vocal about them because you knew how to kind of you know just go with the flow you knew that it's a phase you are an emotionally intelligent person and you're very grounded for that matter the kind of problems the kind of fluctuations that you have been through in your life if the people around you did they would simply succumb to it but no you have a very active crown chakra in your past too you've had an active crown chakra but i don't think you were very spiritual in your past okay you have developed spiritually just over time but in your past i mean i just can envision a person who is either surrounded by people or whose number is just busy one call after the other where everyone is just using you as a dumping ground they are using you as a dumping ground to kind of just vomit their problems onto you i know that vomit is not a very nice word for me to use but this is what people have done to you okay you might not have realized that in the past but this is the reality of whatever has happened people have exploited you being an empath you being sensitive you being emotionally intelligent you being a giver you being very healing they have taken advantage of your healing energy and of your soft heart okay now your past self has been a juggler has been a multitasker has been so energetic i mean you have been available for people you have been available for yourself you have been able to manage your work you've been able to kind of cook your meals also at the same time take care of people around you take care of pets around you i mean in your past you have been or you were so damn busy in catering to everything and everyone that you kind of forgot to not take care of yourself but you were so occupied with the hustle and bustle that you never had time to self reflect is what i'd say you did not have time to self reflect or to actually understand that people are taking advantage of you because you were running on your toes you were on your toes 24/7 and when the day used to end you used to be so damn exhausted that you used to just you know sleep the moment you used to hit the bed you just slept like a baby because you were so damn tired so you did not actually have time to reflect and understand as to how you were being manipulated by the people around you or how tough you were being on yourself even if you used to indulge in self care even if you used to you know kind of take breaks in between but the amount of chaos or the amount of hours you used to spend in catering to everyone and just doing way too much you have done more than what you were capable of in your past and your past self is tired okay your past self has been very tired of making everyone happy of keeping people happy of you know you had this fear in your past of disappointing people of saying no to people you have been a people pleaser in your past okay you were that people pleaser and you found it so difficult in saying no to people in disappointing them in not catering to them in not being available for them i mean you were that kind of a person who even used to leave your work so that you can make the other person happy this is how you've been in the past but then too you had self worth issues why because you had nobody 
who would pour back into your cup you were available for people all this while you did everything you went outside of your comfort zone you kind of did everything possible for the people around you to make them feel loved so that they can make you feel loved in return but what they did was they did nothing and then you started having self worth issues then you started kind of questioning yourself why because your self worth was dependent on how people are treating you your self worth was dependent on how much you're being loved in return how much you're being appreciated for whatever you're doing for the people around you you're getting my point and you kept on doubting yourself when people did not pour back into your cup you just kept on doubting yourself you felt that you are not enough you felt that there's something wrong with you that people are not loving you in the same way that you're loving where you did not understand that it was your beauty it was your beauty it was something that was very precious to you and nobody else had that that is why they could not give you what you gave them because it's something that was purely yours and if you would have given that amount of love care and affection to yourself you would have bloomed your past self would have been very happy but that's okay we all learn you know i mean we all learn from our mistakes we all grow it's a journey life is a journey right nobody's perfect and until and unless we go through these lessons we'll never be able to understand our value because the kind of world that we live in for the most part nobody wants you to understand your own value or your self worth okay nobody wants that why because once you know your worth it gets very hard for the people to manipulate you that's why they don't want you to understand how magical you are as a person but then once you start pouring into yourself is when you realize that you know the magic was me the magic was in me i was the one and now i got to treat myself the way i've been treating the world and that's when the game changes okay so yes let's see what your present self wants to say so for that we have we have three of wands six of swords judgment expectation and here we have princess perfect your present self is focused on manifesting your best life your present self is on the lookout for how can you expand further in your life how can you move forward how can you make the best of what you have okay there are very high chances that you are going through a bit of a tough time at this point of time if you are experiencing a lot of mood swings if you are experiencing a dark phase where you are not very happy or your emotions are fluctuating okay you're feeling happy then you're feeling sad then you're feeling irritated you don't know what's wrong with you then this is your pile because currently you're going through a transition you're going through a spiritual awakening so your present self is leaving your past self behind your layers are getting shed and you are in the middle of a transformation okay this transformation is going to happen within one and a half months from whenever you're watching this reading okay you're already going through this process okay even when we kind of you know go through a spiritual awakening our life doesn't flips in a day okay it takes a couple of weeks and months to kind of get rid of the old energies and the fresh energies to bloom to its full potential for that matter and that is what is happening with you right now 
so your present self wants you to be very gentle let me just tell you that more than me telling you how you are in the present i just want you to be gentle with yourself and listen to what your heart and your body wants because you're going to feel tired you're going to feel lethargic you're going to feel irritated happy sad all kinds of emotions are going to crop up if you don't feel like doing something say no because now you are actually entering into that phase of your life where you will say no without even thinking twice okay so your present self is unapologetic your present self is confident your present self is a bad as i would say i mean your present self is so damn confident if you're not feeling these energies know that you're in the middle of transformation that's why you're not able to have a full grasp of it okay within a couple of weeks i would say as i've said within 1.5 months you will see a lot of difference in your behavior in your physical appearance in the way you deal with people in the way you feel for people you feel for yourself i mean give yourself time and please be patient okay another message that i have for you is that if you have a wish around any area of your life if there is something that you've been wanting to happen for yourself and you've been praying relentlessly that you know what god i want this universe i want this if you have been wanting to manifest something then within 3 months from whenever you're watching this reading that wish is going to get granted so make sure to keep your vibrations in check so that it becomes easier for your particular wish to travel towards you okay your present self is such a strong personality i mean you are in that energy where you're telling the world that you know what i do not need anyone to save me because i got my own back so if you are coming at me either come with a purpose or do not come at all so this is your energy you mean business your present self means business your present self doesn't have time to waste you have poured enough into the cups of others now you are not interested in pouring into anyone else's cup for that matter okay you have expectations you have demands you have requirements and until and unless you don't have people around you who can match what you can give who can match your standards you are not going to give in you're not going to waste your time so your present self is very protective over you your present self genuinely has very high standards and it's not going to be easy for the people to meet your standards let me be very honest so whosoever you're leaving right now you're leaving behind this could be you relocating to a new city or you just switching your career you changing jobs you leaving friendships behind you leaving relationships behind if something of this sort is happening do not be sad because these people are not meant to go on the journey that you are meant to go on you are rising vibrationally and this is what your present self wants you to know and i think you already know that because you are an aware soul you are not a sleeping soul you already know what energetic changes are happening in your body around your entire system and you can feel the energies is what i feel for you pile number 3 okay so your present self cannot wait for the day where it can shine to its full potential you are just waiting for your time to come okay and your present self is now very confident i don't know why again and again i'm just getting this message that now your present self knows how worthy you are now you know that you know 
how much you bring to the table you do not need validation from people anymore you're sure of yourself you know that you are that person who brings light into the world of others it was never the other way around it was always you who was magical you were the magic all this while and you kept on giving credit to the other people around you but your present self knows that you are magic your present self knows as to how valuable how precious you are how precious your energy is and you are in no mood when it comes to settling for less when it comes to entertaining people who are wishy-washy when it comes to you you know just giving people second chances no you are not in the mood to do that you're rather in a very crisp energy very blunt energy where if somebody kind of tries to rub you the wrong way you are going to give it back you're not going to tolerate it any longer okay you are in a very healthy masculine energy let me tell you that it's not that you're not in your feminine energy but your present version demands you to be in your masculine energies more because you know that you got your own back and unless you are in your masculine energies right now you will not be able to make your dreams come true okay so you are a warrior in your present energy your present self your present self is proud of you let me tell you that your present self is proud of you your present self is proud of how powerful and how strong you are as a person okay you have a very good hold of your energies you know when to operate from your masculine energies and you know when to you know lower your guards down and let your feminine self shine i mean you have actually energetically worked on yourself this is what i see for you and you are that pile who has the maximum knowledge about the energy work the chakras you have been very consistent with you learning about your own body you learning about the triggers the glimmers everything for that matter you are very much involved in this spiritual aspect of life is what i can see for you and you know you are the star of your movie you're the star of your movie you're the star of your world and you are unapologetic about it this is what i love about your present self your present self is not scared of blowing their own horn it's not that you are very arrogant for that matter or it's not that you're letting your pride get in the way no you've earned it you've earned it and you deserve it is what i'd say okay you're no more dimming your light to fit in pile number 3 your present self is no more hiding in the dark your present self is being unapologetic about the way you are as a person you're like just take it or leave it i don't care if you like me good for you if you do not like me i'm okay with it because i love myself and it's a beautiful energy to be in it's not cocky i know some people might take this as you know you being too full of yourself and stuff like that that's okay that's on them that's on them you are good the way you are and you're absolutely on the right path and i just want to say again i don't know if i've said this before but then your present self is really really proud of however you've transformed whosoever you're becoming into and your present self really wants you to just keep going keep learning keep evolving and keep being you because you are magical you are one hell of a transcender and you're meant to go big in life okay so this is what i have for you pile number 3 if you liked your reading please like share comment subscribe turn the notification bell on so that whenever i post next you get notified if you'd like to book a private reading with me you can do that via instagram and email the details for both is in my description box below i'll catch up with you in the next reading see ya